As the sun sets on Wednesday, August 30th, 2017, musicians, dancers, art cars, and an audience of burners will convene around the Tree of Tenere art installation at Burning Man for a mind-blowing ballet experience like no other. When Stravinsky's Rite of Spring was premiered over 100 years ago in 1913, it caused uproar and nearly incited a riot. The music is both eerie, beautiful, but also pounding and dissonant. Uh, the dancers were lurching and stopping in a way that a French audience had just never seen in a ballet. Uh, depicted Russian pagans ritualistically choosing and sacrificing a virgin uh, to death, which is just something that the audiences have never seen. The Rite of Spring does something to our bodies when we play it. There's a core vibrancy in that music. It's very primal, it's very um, animalistic, it's very raw. And I think that kind of speaks to the environment of Burning Man, you know, we're in this desert. The Playa Players Collective is a brand new performance arts group founded for the specific purpose of bringing the Rite of Spring to the Playa. Um, we have about 70 really enthusiastic artists who are bringing this as a gift to Burning Man. To create our Rite of Spring for Burning Man, I'm really excited that we're going to have dancers from my company Post Ballet, Glamcox, who are my campmates at Burning Man, and a lot of amazing dancers from around the Bay Area, fire spinners, we have contortionists, aerialists, uh, so many amazing artists who just want to give of their time and creative energy to make this production come to life. Burning Man already has this rich tapestry of art, and visual art and dance and sound, um, but classical music, it has been there, but it's been somewhat kind of underrepresented, so um, we're really excited to be bringing classical music to the playa. Our orchestra is going to be mic'd and plugging into the Robot Heart sound bus to amplify the sound so it doesn't get lost in the playa. We're collaborating with the Tree of Tenere, which is this amazing four-story tree that is sound sensitive and will be lighting up um, in response to our music, creating an amazing light show to add to the spectacle. But in order to make this happen, to get this project on the playa, to engage more people in classical music, we really need support. Our volunteers are gifting their time and talents to this amazing production, but there are still a number of expenses involved, including rehearsal space, sound equipment, costumes, instrument rental, um, equipment transportation, and more. And that's why we're reaching out to you, our arts community, our friends, our family, our burner community, for your support in making this production happen. Thank you for your time and your support and we hope to see you on the playa.